I'm going to go over three different fur types and the steps to drawing them in this brief tutorial. If you are interested in learning to draw fur in a slowed down real time video, I have a real time version of this tutorial available over on my Patreon, where I give more in depth descriptions and tips to the processes going on as you follow along with me step by step. The materials I'm using for this tutorial is Strathmore Medium Drawing Paper, Faber-Castell 9000 Graphite Pencil Set, Stedler Mechanical Pencils, a Blending Stump, a Q-Tip, and a Tombow Mono Eraser. The materials list will also be available in the video description. I believe that learning to draw fur and graphite can be a beginner a gateway to other mediums when you factor in the more complicated use of color. Graphite is just black and white and is much easier to master the techniques of drawing fur without all the different values and colors. You want to make sure that you're sketching in the direction of the fur growth. You want to use a light pencil for this so that you don't put in too dark of hair strokes that you might have to erase later and if you use too dark of pencil it may be harder for you to erase it. We want to have this blend in with the final result of fur. When making your strokes, try to get the fur length to be as close to the fur length of the reference photo, if you're using a reference photo, as possible to help yourself later once we fill all of this other fur details in. It leaves the guessing out of the fur length and direction so you can focus more on what you're actually doing. Next we will draw hairs the same length and direction of these sketched in hairs using a slightly darker pencil and fill in the whole area where that light shade is on the reference photo. Next is to pick a shade that is between the shade you just used and the darkest, which should be about an 8B as your darkest shade of lead. You are going to draw some mid-tone first strokes with this, same as before, you want to make sure they are the correct length and in the right direction, and to not press too hard to avoid burnishing your lead into the paper.
Once you've got that done, you are going to take the darkest shade you have and add in the darkest fur strokes and go over any previous strokes that need to be darker as well. Now let's go over drying short fur. The first step with this is to sketch in a very light general direction to where the direction of the fur is growing. This fur is short so it's a little easier to do because the strokes aren't very long and the direction is fairly uniform. Next, draw your hairs the same length and direction of the sketched hairs you just did before and fill in the whole area where the light shade is at with your slightly darker Then you're going to want to pick a shade that is between what you just used and the darkest. You are going to draw some mid-toned first strokes with this. Same as before, you want to make sure they are the correct length and in the right direction and to not press too hard to avoid burnishing the lead into the paper. Once you've got that done, you are going to take the darkest shade you have and add in the darkest first strokes and go over any previous strokes that need to be darker as well. Now let's go over how to draw curly fur. And curly fur is where things get a little more complicated. I feel like it is important to think about it as the shapes you see and the ranges of varying gradients instead of thinking about it as being fur and just those pencil strokes. To start off with, I am taking a light shade and sketching in as much shapes and variations of the fur as I can. The more you can sketch in, the more it is going to help you. I want to sketch outlines for areas that are going to be white hairs and other areas that are going to be dark. Then I am going to shade in some of the lighter areas of the fur. Careful not to press too hard because we don't want to burnish the paper with the pencil. We want to be able to add more darker shades over this lighter shade later. Now I will take a darker mid-tone pencil and I will be making all my strokes in the direction of the fur flowing down and away from the top.
Lastly, we are going to take the darkest shade and lightly go over areas to darken them. Try not to press too hard because we do not want to make it shiny by burnishing it. We're gonna go through and just darken all of the areas that need to be as dark as it should be in the reference photo. And by going over it lightly, you can increase the amount that you put on there without burnishing it. Once you add that pressure, it, it tends to like really press it into the paper and make it shiny instead of as dark as you really would want it to be in closeness to the reference photo. If you would like to learn more fur drawing tips, you should watch one of these videos. I have some fur tips for colored pencils as well as graphite. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date on my latest artworks and see what I've got going on. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time!